Hello everyone, welcome to mini episode that I um denied a lot about and then did anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna try it, let's go. It, it, the rune that I get from this does not seem all that entertaining to me. Um, but, I mean, now that we have that extra stun thing, it's gonna have to work hard to find something that I'm gonna prefer. But the reason I'm doing it is, of course, the more we do, we can unlock another rune slot and use two of them. So this is the super shotgun, which is super cool. I wonder if we can actually find one. That would be nice. Uh, increase the value of ammo received from demons and items. Not that interested in it. Uh, 30 unwilling. So we just... 3, 2, 1. I mean, we've not really had too much of a... Uh, uh, issue with any of these so far. So... I might have to try this one twice, though, because these things aren't bloody well dying hard enough. The super shotgun, uh, obviously, traditionally fired both barrels, even though when I was a kid I was being schooled by my mates that uh, a true double barrel shotgun would actually fire each barrel independently. The difficulty I have with this particular layout of the level is that you have to find them. Excuse me? You avoided that shot? Unbelievable, Jeff. You need to find some more. Find more. Find more. I couldn't find them! That's really annoying. Let's try again. That's the first one we failed. Um, and honestly, the entirety of the failure was simply the fact that I couldn't find anything to actually shoot. Which is bothersome. It seems like the sort of challenge where it's... Not really a challenge, it's just this bonus level like those cool ones in Sonic where you had to, um... Does that count? Yes. Uh, you know, run around a whole bunch and bounce off the walls. The pinball level, do you remember them? I didn't fire! Seriously. Um, I, I kind of feel like these should be bonus levels rather than actual... I mean, obviously there's a reward for doing them, so... Them being actual challenges is a thing, but... It doesn't seem quite so satisfying when you can't just defeat a pod like this. And then turn around or walk forwards and then there's another one right in front of you, right? Or behind you. But obviously that's kind of what is happening. You have to go the right way. Please give me some time back. <laughs> it's, um... It seems to take a little extra time to kill him with a glory kill than to just shoot him a second time. Low health? That's the thing. I guess these things are actually attacking me. Please don't die. It's important that you don't die. I see you. Twenty-nine. Shit! It killed me! <laughs> I thought it was glowing. With glory kill, but it was glowing with here's a thing for you to shoot. See, they're outlined in red as you approach the end of the um, the challenge, but they ain't outlined in red early on. So, it's hard to find them when you need a bunch. I mean, it's fun and all. But kind of appreciate a few more actual targets once in a while. That's one. So maybe I was wrong. I mean, it does seem to some extent like that is exactly what is happening. That you go from pod to pod and then you walk around a corner and you find another pod and you keep shooting them. You have to walk in the right direction. So it's taken me a few goes to learn the order in which to shoot these things. There we go. More? There's one. Die. So yeah, I was uh, taught by a friend of mine at school that a uh, true double barrel shotgun would, there we go, fire one bullet at a time. And of course, you fire both barrels in original Doom and this Doom. Well, thank you for watching this mini episode in which I actually failed to do a simple rune trial. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you would join me for the next real episode, but I'm going to be not recording that for a while. So maybe some of your comments will be read between now and then. Hope you're enjoying the series. Remember to leave a like, etc. I won't bore you. Uh, see you next time.